Hello guys, welcome to Love is Vacation YouTube's channel. Now I wanna give you information about 5 Top Rated Day Trips from Prague Number 5 Kramer's Palace and the Titan Gallery Considered the most extravagant palace in the Czech Republic, Kramer's Palace, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, should be on every visitor's must-see list. Built as a bishop's palace in 1686, the palace was almost completely rebuilt following damage sustained in the Thirty Years' War. Today's structure is largely of early Baroque style and is notable for its extensive library of more than 50,000 titles, along with a musical archive containing original scores by Mozart and Haydn. Another highlight is the famous Titan Gallery, one of the largest art collections in the country boasting numerous religious paintings including Venise's Apostle, and Titian's The Flaying of Marsyas by Apollo, along with works by Jacopo Bassano, Jan, and Peter Bruegel, and Anthony van Dyck. Set along the banks of the Morava River, the large palace grounds are also worth exploring. Number 4 The Primbrim Mining Museum The town of Primbrim, about 63 kilometers southwest of Prague, has a long tradition of mining. Historical records indicate that mineral extraction in the region began as far back as the 10th century when it became an important source of silver, iron ore, and more recently, uranium. While the mines are now closed, the town is home to a fascinating tourist attraction, Mining Museum Pribram, one of the country's largest and oldest museums, established in 1886 on the site of a 16th century mining pit. The museum showcases the mining techniques and history of mining in the region and includes numerous original buildings and machinery, as well as a chance to travel underground to see firsthand the often difficult conditions faced by miners. Number 3 The Bohemian Paradise In eastern Bohemia, the spectacular Bohemian Paradise, Seski Raj, is a natural area characterized by numerous unique rock formations, splendid old castles, and countless historical buildings. Declared a UNESCO Geopark in 2005, this area of outstanding natural beauty is famed for its many sandstone hills and natural bridges, as well as its tall basalt columns and outcroppings, all of which draw sightseers from across Europe. A highlight of a visit is exploring the park's 180 square kilometers via its superb network of hiking trails, or if you're more inclined to drive, you can take any one of its pretty scenic driving routes, including those that travel past its superb old fortresses such as Trotsky and Kost castles. A good place to begin your exploration of the area is from the historic town of Turnov, notable for its fine old churches and architecture. Number 2 The Old Town of Kutna Hora About 80 kilometers east of Prague, the town of Kutna Hora has much to offer visitors, including an old silver mine, once the largest in Europe, and spectacular architecture. A must-see is St. Barbara's Cathedral, a UNESCO World Heritage Site built in Baroque style in 1338 and boasting an extravagantly decorated interior with many unusual frescoes featuring mining and minting, along with a mural of the vision of St. Ignatius. Also worth seeing is the Italian court, Vlaskidver, home to the Old Mint, once responsible for producing much of Europe's coinage, and the former residence of Bohemian King Vaclav IV. A few minutes' drive outside Kutna Hora is Casina Chateau, built in 1822 and housing a private theater, pharmacy, library, and picture gallery, as well as a beautiful park laid out in the English style. Number 1 Sedlikos Ueri, The Bone Church On the outskirts of Kutna Hora, an hour's drive east of Prague, is the small town of Sedlik, famous for the rather gruesome collections of its bone church. In the Gothic All Saints Chapel are the remains of some 70,000 people who died during the plagues that started in 1380, or who fell victim to the Hussite Wars of the 15th century, look carefully, and you'll see evidence of injuries on some bones. By 1526 overcrowding in the church cemetery was so severe that a local woodcarver, Frandes Krint, was granted permission to remove bones and use them for artistic purposes. The results are an astounding display of curious arrangements including coats of arms, a functioning chandelier, bells, and even chalices. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.